I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you few word problems on application of quadratic functions. Here is question number two. Two cyclists, Kim and Jacob, are heading towards Edmonton. Kim travels 240 kilometers from the east across the prairies. Jacob travels 180 kilometers from the west through the mountains. Jacob's average speed is 6 km per hour less than Kim's and he takes 3 hours longer to make the trip. How long does each travel? That's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions. Now whenever we have distance speed time, I'll suggest make a table uh, which should be like this. So, so we have distance, speed, and time, right? So this is distance. Our distances are in kilometers. Speed is in kilometers per hour. Time is in hours, right? Two cyclists, Kim and Jacob. Okay. Heading, Jacob travels 240 kilometers. So distance traveled by Jacob, I'm sorry, Kim travels 240 kilometers. So this distance is 240. From east, Jacob travels 180 kilometers. This is 180 kilometers. Okay, Jacob's average speed is 6 kilometers per hour less than Kim. That means if Kim's speed is x, this is x minus 6. Do you see that? So that is how, while reading, you have to fill in this table. Distance is speed and time. And remember the relation between distance, speed and time. You can remember this triangle. Where distance is product of speed and time. Correct? Now, Jacob's average speed is 6 km per hour less than Kim's and he takes 3 hours longer. So this time is 3 hours longer to make the trip. How long does each travel? So you find the time. Now if distance is 240, speed is x, time could be written as distance divided by speed, which is this, correct? So time is distance speeded by time. Time is distance divided by speed, 240 divided by x, and in this case, it will be 180 divided by x minus 6. So that is the time taken by both of them. Condition given to us is that Jacob takes 6, I mean, takes 3 hours longer to make the trip. Correct? So that really means that this time, which is 180 divided by x minus 6, is 3 plus 240 divided by x. That's what it means, right? So that is how you could get equation in single variable. Now, we have one equation, one variable. It can be solved to find the value of x. Once you find the value of x, you can calculate time taken by each one of them. You get an idea, right? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now to solve such an equation, first step should be get rid of fractions. So what we'll do is, we'll multiply each term by x times x minus 6. Do you see that? So we'll multiply each term by x times, so we'll do x times x minus 6, each term, right? So we'll multiply 3 by x times x minus 6, 180 over this by x times x minus 6. What do we get thereafter? So effectively, we get 180 times x, right? Equals to 3 times x times x minus 6, and which is plus 240 times x minus 6, right? So when you multiply each term, so we are doing each term by this term, right? So the idea is to get rid of fractions. So in this case, 
x minus 6, x minus 6 cancels. We are left with x, so we get 180x. Here, denominator is 1, so 3 gets multiplied by x times x minus 6. Here, x gets cancelled, 240 gets multiplied by x minus 6. Correct? Let's expand. So, we have 180x equals 2. So, this is x square minus 6x, so we get 3x square minus 3 times 6 is 18, 18x. And here we get plus 240x minus 6 times 240, right? So let's multiply 240 by 6. We get 1440. Right. Now, let's bring 180x to the right side. So we get 0 equals to 3x squared minus 18x plus 240x minus 180x and we have minus 1440 that gives you 3x squared combine these x terms so we could do 240 take away those two so we have 240 take away 18 take away 180 so that gives us 42 so we get plus 42x minus 1440 right so that becomes our quadratic equation we could divide everything by 3 right we could write this as 3 times x square plus let's divide each by 3 42 divided by 3 is 14 we get 14 x minus 1440 divided by 3 is 480 correct so that becomes the quadratic equation and from here we can find x so let's find x from this quadratic equation. I'll use this space. We'll use the quadratic formula. Okay, the quadratic formula is, let's write down, um, x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? So using this formula, we get x equals to minus of 14 plus minus square root of 14 square minus 4 times AC. This is minus, so it becomes plus 4 times 480. Is it okay? Divided by 2 times 1, right? So 2. So we actually factored out 3. So we are just solving for this quadratic equation. So we are working with smaller numbers. That's the whole idea. So let's calculate the square root part. So we have here x equals to minus 14 plus minus let's calculate this value which is 14 square plus 4 times 480 21 16 and we'll do square root of this square root of answer which is 21 16 is 46 so we get this as 46 divided by 2 now x should always be positive so we'll do the negative value will be ignored. Positive value, that means 46 minus 14 is 32 divided by 2 will give us 16, right? So this gives us one value as 16. The other one negative will leave that, correct? So we have x value as 16. If x is 16, we can find out the time, right? So the time for Kim, let's say, will be 240 divided by 16. So for Kim, it will be 240 divided by 16, which is 15 hours. And for Jacob, it is going to be 180 divided by 16 minus 6, which is 10. So it is 18 hours, right? So that makes sense three hours more than Kim. So the time will be, this will be equal to for Kim 15 hours and for Jacob 18 hours, right? We found X as equal to 16, correct? So that is the calculation, correct? So I hope that helps. So whenever you're given a word problem, try to make this kind of a table relating distance, speed, and time for different events.
From the statements, fill out whatever is given to you. Use the formula distance is speed into time or time is distance divided by speed to solve as we have done in this example. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can like my videos, share with your friends and feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.